parting is always very difficult. And for a person like me, both sentimental, emotional, it's very difficult to put what comes in my heart. This day of 4 February 2023 shall remain with golden letters and shall go into the annals of Patna High Court as it is going to signify one of the most historical moments when we have assembled here to bid farewell to two esteemed and distinguished members of this institution for adorning chairs in the top court of this great nation. Well, this should have been the second round, but thankfully it is the first round. Last time, I just had to rush. So now, without feeling the pain of separation, by the time I could realize I was already established there. But this time it has been a more sinking feeling, knowing that the countdown had begun. And by the God of grace, things have worked out. As has been said, parting is always very difficult. And for a person like me, both sentimental, emotional, it's very difficult to put what comes in my heart and through the mind and finally out of the system. I've been just contemplating the moment I was informed that there would be a farewell reference. Memory started just flashing in front of me. How I came in the profession, my days in the bar, on the bench, my brief train to Andhra Pradesh, and back. I was made a part of this bar, then the bench, elevation to the bench, and then finally where I am today. At every moment, whenever there was in my good times, in my bad times, all of you individually, collectively stood by me. That was my biggest source of strength. I knew that I did not have anything to prove to the world or to the public. I just knew that persons who meant to me, understood me, did not misunderstand me. And I can proudly say that all of you understood me and did not misunderstand me. I was difficult, I know. As a judge also, I might have been difficult. But then, let me open out, even from the bench I used to keep saying, that I used to be that side. personal and then I felt that I had the authority to act as I had acted and because of your correct appreciation and acceptance of what <coughs> came from this side I had the courage to go further espouse the cause of justice and together as a team whatever little we could achieve it's a great satisfaction the bench is absolutely powerless without the 
real and active support of the bar. If it, anything the bench has managed to achieve, will achieve, is only through you. And after knowing the reality all over India, I can say with some pride and with certainty that we are one of the best bar. Very, I'm not saying because I'm, I'm in front of you and you know I don't give compliments just like that. But uh, it's an experience. The relationship between without end. But yes, definitely, I was not prepared. I have not prepared any speech. I did not even know. My family was very apprehensive. What would I would say? Because generally I, I tend to go off track very fast. And especially in these weak moments. I hope I have been able to handle myself. My family would not castigate me for anything. I think I have been very decent and Formal. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best. And yes, uh, you may be losing me physically for the present and honorable the Chief Justice. But I can say that the pain is more this side because I am losing so many and you are losing only one. So the pain is much more, my loss is much more than your loss. And then, yes, to everybody to my registry who has been very, very supportive. The results which we have achieved is totally the result of all my judicial officers, the registry, the staff of this court, my personal staff. How can I forget? They were the ones right from early morning till late night, even on weekends, without anything. Sometimes my Jamadad used to straight away from the airport, I used to come here. He used to say that, sir, because that from your home the breakfast did not come, his wife used to prepare and give me. How can I forget all that? It's been a family and real family in that sense. Tremendous. And with my brothers, the support. And yes, I would be failing and not mentioning that whenever in the standing committee or anywhere, whenever I expressed my view and all, we had a healthy discussion. But if everybody felt that I had a view. Everybody, I cannot uh, express my gratitude for the trust, the faith they had in me that I was allowed as a pampered boy to have my way. Thank you, everybody. And finally, Honorable the Chief Justice. Being a puny judge, very junior when he came, slightly moving up, going out again, coming back. And then finally, being the senior most judge, at every stage, whatever little you can see of me, whatever little you can associate with my achievement, the credit goes to Honorable the Chief Justice. The faith he had, whatever I did, he had the faith to allow me the space and back me up. Otherwise, uh, you understand in daily life, it is very difficult at this stage or at this level to really achieve something unless you are sure that the vision you have or the task you have taken up is backed up by your colleagues and especially the Chief Justice. I have been lucky that my stint the last three years, barring a few months, has been with Honorable Justice, Honorable Mr. Justice Sanjay Karol, the person, not the Chief Justice. Thank you, sir. The family has also been very supportive. Thank you, all of us. And thank you once again, the bar, for tolerating me. And now you have a home in Delhi also. <laughs> and you know that I don't talk in formality. It's not a family. Take care, be happy, and I'm always there. May not physically, but I'm only a phone call away. 
and we'll be in touch. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, sir. May I now request our revered Honorable the Chief Justice, Sri Sanjay Karol, to answer the reference. My esteemed colleague, uh, Honorable uh, Mr. Justice uh, Chakradhari Sharan Singh, presiding judge of uh, today's ceremony. My esteemed colleague, Honorable Mr. Justice uh, Amanullah. My esteemed uh, brother, judges on the dais. Breaching the protocol, uh, Shri P.K. Sahi, learned Advocate General of the State. Shri Yogesh Chandra Verma, President of the Advocates Association. Shri Ajay Kumar Thakur, President of the Lawyers Association. Shri Sanjay Singh, President of the Bar Association. Dr. Ken Singh, Learned Additional Solicitor General. Learned uh, senior uh, members of the bar, more specifically, Shri Lalit Kishore, who has been a permanent fixture of this court, and uh, the leader of uh, the bar of Bihar, Shri Ramat Khan, Sharma, chairman of the State Bar Council. Learned uh, Registrar General, and through him, the members of the registry and all the entire uh, judicial family, respected members of the bar, family members of uh, my esteemed colleague, Honorable Justice uh, Manula, my dear family. To begin with, my prayers to God Almighty for having uh, given me the strength to have served this great institution for three years. I must also threshold seek apologies from those, I'm sure you'll pardon me, if in the discharge of my duties I have ever, ever hurt anyone, including members of the bar, my esteemed colleagues, my staff, my judicial officers and my family. I'm here before you all gratified, overwhelmed, and in awe of the love and affection meted out to me as the Chief Justice. But then Bihar is known for the warmth of its people, for, though, for their unassuming simplicity, and for naturally abounding love in their hearts. It is not without reason that it is said, Bihar mein jo aata hai, wo Bihar ka yeh ho jata hai. You have truly made me one of your own. So when, gentlemen, you were referring to the son of the soil, I only wanted to say that don't miss out on me when you refer that. <laughs> to be the Chief Justice of this great institution is a great honor. I came in September 2019 and I had vowed to embed constitutional spirit of inclusion non-discrimination and justice in true sense as is there in the preamble in our working system. 
there was a great uh, vision and mission which I had, or an ambition which I had, and that was to make this institution as number one institution in the country, in every aspect and respect, to have a strong, independent, well-meaning judiciary, transparent at that, and to have an efficacious justice delivery system was all that was in my mind. I'm sure that uh, at the end, all of you would find me having lived up and worked and lived up to that fulfillment of that uh, mission and goal. I was to inculcate a binding bond of shared cooperation between the bar and the bench as also to build infrastructure that could rival none. Whether I have been able to fulfill that commitment or not is for all the stakeholders, including my learned brothers, members of the bar, and the litigants of this state to decide. I do remember the first day when I landed here in Tukoth, I had never come to Patna earlier. And I told the constitutional, two constitutional heads functionaries that Bihar or Bihar ke logon ke liye jo hum se ban paayega wo hum out of the way ja ke karenge Today is not the day when I would like to talk about what all I have been able to do but all those who have made my journey as the Chief Justice of the state memorable and fulfilling. I will start with my family, my judicial family, my brother, judges, my officers of the judiciary at all levels. It is not without reason that we address companion judges of the High Court as brothers. Through thick and thin, my brother judges have stood by me and have never faltered in their support. Brothers, you have permitted, facilitated and encouraged the changes, welcome the adaptations and new ideas and cooperated even when you may have disagreed with me. I thank you, all of you. I have shared some of my most memorable moments in your company, and it was an honor to be part of your joys, joys and sorrow, victories and losses. I have seen uh, very many people in the mid office ever since I've come here. I have seen very many people join the family. The family is united. The family works tirelessly, endlessly only for one to achieve one goal. And that is to wipe out the tears and the sorrows of the litigants of this state. Brothers, one thing, brother, uh, I don't, should not be naming, but amongst us we have a great host, apart from Honorable Justice Amanullah. Thank you, Brother Mohit, for making uh, our witness days memorable. Surely we are going to miss 
you and uh, the company of each one of you brothers. <coughs> brothers who have come from outside swear that yes, I would only add to what Brother Amunullah said that uh, we have the best bar in the country. But I must also add, not only I endorse, but we have also the best of the judges in the country. And what, is, what is appreciable is this, that my guests, Brother Bajantri, you will pardon me for using that word, have intermingled, they have become part and parcel of Bihar and the traditions, great traditions of this great institution. I will forever cherish the memories of shared camaraderie, the invigorating discussions and carefree laughter during these lunches. Brother Ashutosh and Brother uh, Rajiv Ranjan we will certainly miss you. Let us kindly pardon me if I don't personally take names of each one of you. I have been assisted in all my endeavors by the offices of the registry of the High Court and I must say are some of the best judicial officers, not only in the state, but also the entire country. In my eagerness to accomplish too much, is too, in too little time, I have often given them impossible deadlines or stretched them to their limits, but they have never disappointed me. I must inform this uh, August house and gathering in uh, four degrees temperature during the peak winter my members of the registry would come to my house during the time of COVID endlessly risking their lives endlessly dedicating themselves for the cause of justice delivery system thank you it is said that the toughest times bring out the best in everyone. For us, like most of the world, such time came with the onset of COVID-19 pandemic. It was unlike anything that anybody had ever experienced. But the resilience shown by each one of us in turning that adversity into an opportunity was phenomenal. Thank you, Brother Chakadhari, and thank you, Brother Adarish, for evolving these systems. I must also thank, I must inform this house that the infrastructure which we had was five of these judges, four if I correctly remember, went to Delhi and studied the models set out in the country, brought people from outside to put in the infrastructure. And that is, as uh, Dr. Singh said, that uh, except for a very, very brief period, we were fully functional even during the time of lockdown. And uh, I may only add here, that when it came for uh, defending the civil rights, not even for one day, Leonard Advocate General would remember, sorry, Dr. Uh, Shri Lalit Kishore would remember, not even for a single day, we were shut. We told him that we are always available, my brothers are always available. And there has been no, no looking back since then. With pride, I must also add, as you have already said, 
that uh, wherever I go, I always say that Bihar and people of Bihar are misunderstood. I always say, I repeat, that Bihar and people of Bihar are misunderstood. I am your ambassador and each one of us Adding further, the speed and alacrity with which the courts, the bar and the staff evolved themselves. It was a tectonic shift of great human mindset. From Remington Rand typewriter coming on a bicycle to digital online hearing and uploading of orders on the website thanks to Brother Chakadhari, bringing in absolute transparency. If you would kindly recollect, you were the first one to have the online digital hearing. It was in May, April, sorry. Till the time, right from the stage of filing, till the time of uploading of our orders, Everything is transparent. Everyone knows now that even if the Chief Justice had wanted the matter to be listed before him, it had to be only by his human interference. Otherwise, the systems were in place, which none knew how it worked, except for the machine and one person who did it. I would, all, I would also miss my days as patron in chief of the Bihar Judicial Academy, it has been my endeavor to provide the best resource persons available, not only in the country, but in the world, for the training of the judicial officers of the state. The August uh, gathering must be informed and appraised that we had uh, two Nobel laureates visit uh, the academy. One, the head of the state himself, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, and the other, Shri Kailash Satyarthi. Of course, that was the digital mode. And uh, various uh, jurists, honorable judges of sitting and retired judges of the Honorable Supreme Court have been visiting and continued education, be it for the judges dealing at different levels, but also for us was an endeavor which we have been able to accomplish. I have made a request, I had made a request which has pending with the appropriate authority and I'm sure my brothers would take it forward of having a, a hundred acre judicial academy at Nalanda with sprawling campus. Let us see it will come up in the near future. To the young members of the bar, how can I forget you? There are tears in my eyes. You have helped me render justice as is so required of a judge in terms of and under the Constitution. Justice, which is social, is something which you have helped me render. And only when I crisscrossed the state that I could feel the pulse, the need, which I made it known to you and you came forward wholeheartedly in assisting the bench. I hope my good luck to young members of the bar. And we need a strong bar for the simple reason I was telling 
the members of the bar, the, the presidents of all the three associations who had come to meet me. The true strength of a judge lies in the bar. I'm a great votary of bar, strong bar, an independent bar. True respect of a judge also comes from the bar. And you are our repository, young members of the bar, because sooner or later, the vacancies here have to be filled up only from that side and from nowhere else. So please do work hard, maintain your dignity, maintain your integrity, so that we have a vibrant judiciary in Bihar as it is today. I would be remiss if I don't mention personal staff who have kept long hours with me, <coughs> traveled with me, and ensured that I was always taken care of. I don't want to take names, but thank you, my family, each one of you. Three years have passed by. From you, I shall draw strength in rendering justice from the highest court of the land. I'll be moving now, but that does not mean that, that I'm saying goodbye to all of you here, for we don't say goodbye to families. Thank you very much.